Hello and welcome to Poco Bootleg of Lego Pirates of the Caribbean based on the movie Dead Man Tell No Tells. There are 8 figures in the only set released for that movie and all 8 figures have been copied in this Pogo set. Meaning if you can't afford the big uh, ship, the Silent Mary, then there you go. Here's all the figures from that movie. Uh, the entire wave, all in one cheap bootleg set. So we have Captain Jack Sparrow, we have Henry Turner, uh, Karina Smith, and then we have, uh, starting from the left, those weird people. Uh, we have Officer Santos, and then we have Lieutenant Lacero, and then we have, of course, Captain Salazar, that weird sideway here himself. And then we have Officer Magda and the Silent Mary Macehead. Macehead. So uh, that's the thing that's on the front of the boat, right? If I'm correct? Yeah. So, yeah, that's all the figures. All of them come with a spare minifigure hand as well as that minifigure base. He's got a sweeping broom. Uh, pirate sword in black, pirate sword in grey, pirate sword in grey. Got a little, um, we got that angle viewing calculating thing, can't remember what that's called. Pirate sword, no accessory, and a shield, blank shield, and a big broadsword. Printing quality on all these figures are quite decent. They're very sharp, very detailed. I think they look pretty good. The plastic on all of them are also pretty nice as well. I've noticed no issues with clutch movement or uh, the feel of them. Just uh, if you have any Pogo figures, you know what to expect. If you don't, uh, the plastic quality feels fine in the hand. It has a slightly matte-ish feel to them compared to uh, Lego's smoother, more shiny state. And uh, I think the flesh tone coloring on the figures are also slightly more like dimmer compared to Lego, just slightly darker. It's not really noticeable unless you have a Lego figure right next to him. I did notice uh, there's one clutch issue and that's with this guy's hat. It comes off a little bit too easy. It doesn't fall off, but um, if you're handling this figure, if, you, if your figure just, thing just sort of like, hits it, knocks it, it will come off. And that can be quite annoying. This next joint is also quite a lot looser than the other ones, but it's not too bad. And of course, I definitely hate this joint. Even on official Lego, this one, this piece here always makes it look like she's way taller, she shouldn't be. And of course, this stud is far too loose. And just like official Lego figures, they also have that problem as well. But you see here, with all the hair pieces taken off, the face prints on all of them are also quite decent. A little bit of dirt on him, probably can rub that off or scratch that off. But aside from that, all the other ones are printed pretty nice. Printing all these figures are also quite excellent as well. I don't see anything wrong with them actually. They're all very detailed, very sharp. Pretty good. And finally, this is a gold piece here, the jewel molded color is pretty good and this thing is made out of a nice matte finish. It's very smooth to touch. It feels really good to handle. This is a pretty good set to get if you just want to collect all the figures from that movie. Uh, the official LEGO Silent Man because it is quite big set and it's quite expensive so it's gonna be hard to afford. Uh, Lee Pin has made a copy set, I've not reviewed that anything but I'm gonna assume just by my previous experience with Lee Pin is that all of their their builds are okay, but their figures are usually terrible. So you can get up this set and replace all of the figures from the Lee Pin set and you should have a pretty cheap, complete Silent Mary build and figures. So that's a pretty good way to go with that. So yeah, recommend this set, pick it up, it's pretty good. Subscribe to Justin Copyland because take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon, bye bye now.